Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Regional Service Manager for Libri Plus. Today we're going to talk about CAN bus resistance verification on the Libri Multiplex system. Refer to Libri Plus Technical Service Bulletin 13-20 for general information on the Libri Multiplex system. You can also refer to Technical Service Bulletin 15-03 for detailed steps outlining this process. In the Libri Multiplex system, Libri utilizes a controlled area network, or CAN bus, to connect all of the various modules, sharing messages, controlling each of the individual functions. This is done utilizing a CAN high and CAN low wire, the equivalency of a J1939 high and J1939 low wire. Occasionally, an issue with the CAN high or CAN low wire could be present. It results in a code pertaining to communication with either the master module or one of the various other nodes connected in the network. Verification of the integrity of our network is a simple process that will be outlined as we continue. Our first step in the verification process is to turn on the ignition and verify whether or not we have any active codes on the Node 11 display screen. Please note that there are situations where a problem with the network can exist without the existence of a code. The optimal location for measuring resistance for CAN bus integrity is at the diagnostic connector located inside the cab. The diagnostic connector and its detailed pinout is outlined on page 2 of the wiring diagram. This will be accurate for any multiplex Libri vehicle. This location enables you to verify that both terminating resistors are in the circuit, equating to a reading of 60 ohm. CAN bus resistance must be measured with the ignition and battery disconnect in the off position. Please remember that on automizer and expert vehicles, Modules 20 and 30 are connected directly to battery power and will therefore still be active if only the ignition is turned to the off position. This also applies to Whitkey Starlight and Super Duty Multiplex units where Module 30 would still be powered with the ignition off. To perform the test, locate the diagnostic connector. Affix your multimeter leads to pins 4 and 5. Set your multimeter to resistance and record the reading. A measurement of 60 ohms is optimal. However, you may get a reading that is 1 or 2 ohms higher or lower. This is still acceptable in most cases. Any reading in the neighborhood of 118 to 120 ohms would indicate that one of the 120 ohm resistors is no longer present in the network. For detailed information, in that diagnostic situation, please check out our upcoming videos pertaining to CAN bus diagnostics. Thank you for watching this Libri how-to video.